Hi, my name's Carrie. I'm an intern at the Catskill Center working for Chris, the Catskill Regional Invasive Species Partnership. I'm here today and I'm going to talk to you about rock snot, also known as dinamo, one of our top priority species. Dinamo is becoming a problem in many of our streams. It's a single cell diatom which easily spreads and can start from just one cell multiplying and dividing. You can see this sample here is just starting. You can identify it by its green to tan color. As Dynamo continues to grow, it'll have a carpet-like look and feel and cover the entire rock surface. At this site, you can see the infestation of Dynamo has taken off and is covering most of the rock bottom. It will continue to grow, forming a thicker, more dense mat, and will have globs coming off of it, which will then break off from the current and be carried downstream, spreading it even farther. Macroinvertebrates are small critters that live under rocks in the bottom of waterways. They are an important food source for many fish species such as chow. An infestation of didymo will smother macroinvertebrates, removing an important food source. Unfortunately, didymo is very hard to control, so it is important that we keep it contained and do not spread it from site to site. Fishing is a big way that didymo is spread, especially if felt sold weeders are used and not properly cleaned. Felt sold weeders can be cleaned in a couple of ways. The first is to soak them in a bath of hot water that is 140 degrees. You can also use a mild detergent or a mild bleach or salt solution. This will keep our ecosystem strong and healthy.